Hi, I want to talk a bit about how Smartbench actually works. And to do that, I need to take you back a couple of years. We started off wanting large format portable CNC technology and we couldn't find anything. So we had a look at CNC machining and we looked at it from a completely new angle. And what we ended up with was actually a beam clamping technology which we've actually patented and we call that Smartbench. So in this video, I'd like to show you how that technology works and what we can do with it. Let's look at the beam. That's made up of two halves. We've got the lower half and the upper half. And if we look at the lower half, we've got a series of bearings which extend along the full four foot width of the beam. And they actually support the material so that when we load the upper beam down onto that material, they act as a clamp. And in doing so, we've got the whole beam that can move up and down the entire length of that material. And that means that any position of the router spindle is entirely relative to the top surface of the material. Now what that means is that we are vastly more efficient in the structure which makes up the CNC machine. And that means that we can break the beam down, we can break the bench down, and then we get our portability. And that really is the crux. Now, traditionally, a large part of what you pay for in CNC machines is rigidity. And that's why all the traditional large format CNC machines are large and heavy and live in factories. And it's this new take on how the mechanics can work to put the rigidity where it's needed. That is, the router spindle rigid relative to that top surface of the material which means that we can create a portable large format CNC machine, which is an order of magnitude cheaper than the traditional way of doing large format CNC. So this is us loading a six millimeter MDF spoil board. Now we're loading a sheet of 18 millimeter ply. And finally, we need to sandwich the material between the two beams. That's what keeps the router spindle relative to the top surface of the work. Now, you might be thinking, that's great, but what happens when you mill off the material which the bearing was previously running on? And for that reason, we've made the bearings adjustable so that when you know where the workpiece is, you can actually move those bearings onto areas that you know aren't going to be cut and that's a solve for most scenarios in the cases where you have a job where you're actually going to be milling off the entire top surface so those top bearings aren't able to touch down on the workpiece in that situation we use runners along the sides of the workpiece and we reposition those bearings out to the runners we'll cover those projects which cover the different scenarios in future videos we're quite excited by this technology and the next video is really going to be explaining what we've done and how we've done it and really introduce you to what you can do with Smartbench. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next one.